Hello, hello, my name is May, and this is my first booktube video. No, it's not. I'll get into that later. Uh, today, I will be doing booktube newbie tag. Let's go. Question number one. Why did you start this channel? The first one is I want to make friends. It's not that I don't have friends. Yeah, I do. But I don't have that many friends who like to read. I'm sure that's the reason why most people start making booktube videos. It's just different when you talk with reader friends about books versus non-reader friends. You know what I mean? They just get you. They know exactly how you feel when your favorite character dies. They will cry with you while your non-readers just look at you. What the fuck is wrong with you? Question number three. No, question number four. What? Haha. <laughs> <laughs> question number two. What are some fun and unique things you can bring to booktube? Uh, I don't know. I don't know if this is unique or special, but these are some of the things that I would like to do. I'm planning to do short story videos where I share short stories that I write. Let me know if you would be into that. Besides books, I also like to dance. So I'm planning to do dance concept videos based on books that I like. But that might not happening anytime soon because I just got back to dancing after stop dancing for almost a year i just learned a new dance and i film myself i look at it and i need to work on my techniques but that's something that i want to do i also want to write songs about books that i don't like i think that would be really fun maybe do book trailers or book cover designs so many ideas let's see if i have the strength and energy to do them all Question number three. What are you most excited for about this new channel? For me, it's making new friends and creating videos. I've always wanted to start a YouTube channel since I was in sixth grade, which is a long time ago. Yeah. Question number four. Why do you love reading? I love reading because I feel that you can get so much from just reading a book. You can learn how to build a business. You can also travel to a new world by just sitting at home. You don't actually have to go anywhere. And they are also my escapism when I need them. Books are amazing. And I know that with learning how to build a business, you can just watch YouTube videos, you know, nowadays. But it's just different when you read a book you know, you're not staring at a screen. You, it, it's just different. I don't know how to explain it. It just keep a different feeling. So yeah. Question number five. What book or series got you into reading? My first language is Thai. So the first book I read was in Thai. You're not gonna understand me when I say the title, but I'm gonna do it anyway. So the first book that I read, it is called I have to look it up actually. <laughs> First book that I read is called Kong Gan Lek Pien Lak Lai Kap Nai Jom Hod, which translates to English as Project Dangerous Love Exchange with Mr. Brutal. I don't know if it was the right translation because I did that myself, but that's what it is. It's a YA contemporary romance about an exchange student going to a school with a bad reputation she meets her love interest the bad boy with a bad reputation the love interest was a douchebag and i ate it up i ate it all up because middle school i loved the story so much that the moment i finished the first book i immediately bought the second book in the series and just read it within a day or two it was a trashy book series but it's a dumpster fires that ignites my love for reading it will always have a special place in my heart though i just stopped reading when i moved from thailand to the states because my english was so bad i didn't understand anything all i knew was yes no okay maybe thank you i did try to read twilight 
and I gave up not because the book was bad but my English was so bad that I didn't know if the book was good or bad I did eventually pick up a book a year later it was a non-fiction and for a while I would only read non-fiction because I found it easier to read than fiction book and in 2016 or 2017 that's when I pick up Harry Potter books and I was hooked I've been reading tons of fiction books ever since question number six what questions would you ask your favorite you what questions would you ask your favorite booktubers i would love to ask them how can they manage to read so many books in one month i see some booktubers read 20 books a month and i want to know how how tell me tell me please because for me the maximum that i can read per month is eight if i can read eight books good job good job may question number seven what challenges do you think starting a booktube channel will be the hardest to overcome getting views and being consistent getting views is something that i cannot really control so i'm not even gonna talk about it but let's talk about consistency remember when i said at the beginning of the video that this is not my first booktube video last year i also did a booktube newbie tag and <laughs> sadly in that video i also said that being consistent is the hardest thing to do for me and i was right because after that video i didn't make any video since i did try to film two videos after that and my laptop got busted it stopped working and i had to spend 200 dollars fixing it at the time i was already in a very challenging time of my life especially financially so when that happened my mental health just went down into a really bad place so i just stopped doing everything shit happens but fortunately things are getting so much better now i am in a much better place to create so let's see if this will be a thing question number eight is when did you start reading when i was in middle school with that trashy book that i loved so much number nine where do you read? I usually read before I go to bed because it helps me sleep. I have a hard time sleeping. But if I notice that I haven't gone out for a week or even for a few weeks, I would walk to my library because I live really close by and just sit there and read. Cannot do that right now though because quarantine. Okay, last question. What kind of books do you like to read? Mystery and thrillers are my jam. I also like dark fantasy and sometimes i read contemporary romance when a thriller book fucks me up you know those books especially psychological thrillers i love them but sometimes they just make me question my life choices after i finish reading them for nonfiction, i like personal development marketing biography and entrepreneurship and that's it i hope you enjoyed it thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video Bye!